morning guys today i'm sad to say it's my last day in morocco i've stayed <coughs> at riyadh Laika, which is a moroccan word or arabic word for a hotel it's sort of a bed and breakfast um yeah and it's been really nice and um, this video i'm gonna rate it on the normal categories i rate at and review it um and i'm just gonna add one for in terms of aesthetics because the hotel's appearance is really nice so location nine out of ten because as you can see sorry i'm recording this on my phone i needed to pack my camera since we're flying in like three hours but location's really good our neighbors are like a hostel for people in university who want to travel here um location really good you can explore the city um it's close to shops it's close to everything you need then wi-fi <coughs> not that good but it's fine it's six out of ten it disconnects you sometimes and won't load things but it works most of the time and like i said in my other videos you don't really need wi-fi since you're on holiday you should be enjoying your time you only need good wi-fi when you're at home then staff 10 out of 10 very friendly interactive they will always be there for you if you need them um yeah not, not much else to say about staff then aesthetics which is the appearance of the hotel i'll give 10 out of 10 it's yeah you guys can see what i'm talking about on my instagram i have lots of posts and videos about this hotel because i really like the architecture you can see this is just the, some of the outdoor area inside it's even better but yeah i really like the style of this place and then yeah so that's 10 out of 10. <coughs> it's really moroccan like french since france colonized morocco many years ago um and yeah not much else to say about the aesthetics no entertainment there's no tvs or anything there's a small pool uh, there's obviously the whole city to walk around in so i'd give it like eight out of ten at, at rio de Laica, there's not much to do but around the city obviously there's a lot there's sh stores to explore lots of shopping um people that let you take photos of their animals that they abuse so you probably shouldn't support them by giving them business um <coughs> yeah and what other category oh food of course food you only get breakfast yeah but the breakfast always 10 out of 10 they change every day well they're similar every day but they still change so it's something new but you know you'll still like it because it's a bit similar to the previous day's breakfast so breakfast 10 out of 10 no you it's it's not a buffet but it's almost like a buffet in terms of having unlimited food but you sit at a table and they serve you unlimited food so you just need to ask and ask breakfast is the only one provided you can pay extra for lunch and dinner which is really expensive but i'd rather recommend going to a place called the square which is like a five minute walk and you can eat at a restaurant there for very cheap price like fifty dollars for your whole for my whole family of five around there so yeah the restaurants also have really nice views i went to one last night and the last section is rooms the rooms i'll give nine out of ten sorry <coughs> that, my room is a bit of a mess right now it looked much better when we came once again you can see that on my instagram i'll link it down below um yeah what can i say about the rooms obviously really nicely designed and artistic all around um the bed is very comfortable there are good amounts of plugs around the room even though half don't work <sighs> the room is a bit small but that's fine because you're not in your room the whole day and then the bathroom very nice as you can see also very aesthetic 
has shelves, toilet obviously. Um, quite a nice shower area. Um, once again, sorry about the quality of my phone. Um, yeah, the shower is quite small and does spray a bit outside onto the floor, but that doesn't really matter. So, yeah. Also, lots of covered space is safe. There's only no mini fridge, which isn't that nice. But yeah, it doesn't matter. Except it's 9 out of 10 for the rooms. Thanks. And... I think that's about all. Overall, I'd give this place, you know, 9.5 out of 10. Because everything's really cool. The view is really nice. There's lots of nice people. There's only one thing that really upset me because yesterday I was shopping with my family for some shoes and my family are shopping for whatever they want, obviously. And there's lots of stray kittens and dogs and I was busy stroking a kitten and then I called my brother and he was stroking it with my mom. And then I went to a shop next to it and then this psycho homeless person came and, and gripped the, the kitten's mother that was next to it by the ear so tightly he lifted it up from the ground and threw it over his back and it made a really horrible sound and it was just really messed up <coughs> um yeah i don't know maybe he wanted attention or something and then i i didn't see it happen i got told by my mom and my brother and then after it comes and asks me for money and i don't even know it happened yet so yeah that was pretty disturbing to see but I need to start heading now. My family's probably waiting for me. And yeah, I'll see you at the airport. We have a... How long are the flights? I think five hours to Dubai. And then out of the, from Dubai to South Africa, like 10. So I'll see you guys in the next one.